Yo, what is up guys, Zinsley here. In today's video, we will be going from noob to pro within Hayes Piece, which is a new One Piece game that just dropped. I'm low-key pretty excited for this series. If the video does well, I will make a part two. The light goal, I'm gonna I'm I'm set it around 100. Hopefully that's not too much to ask for. Um, let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comments. And without further ado, let's hop straight into Hayes Piece. All right, boys, as you can see, we are in the main menu of Hayes Piece. And I guess today's goal is going to be either getting a legendary or a mythical clan and maybe attain a decent sword style because I feel like that would be the safest bet. I don't really know what all uh, devil fruits are good and all that, but a sword is always great. So let's go ahead and see what we end up spinning. Starting off with our first spin. We got human, bro. Why is it glowing go like that rainbow? I look, he just thought we got a mythical um, human again. I feel like they kind of should like nah they should keep human in never mind i was about to say they should remove it oh okay so we ended up getting three-eyed tribe it gives us some extra stamina we're gonna go ahead and use the codes i'll catch you guys when i claimed them all right boys we're back in the main menu we got the se like seven rerolls from the codes let's go ahead and use these and see what i end up pulling um starting off with spin number one we got elf which is another common gives us some passive health regen but we don't want that Ooh, we got Fishman, which is an uncommon. Okay. It's better than a common, I'm not gonna lie. Of course, human. Ooh, Skypean. Now, I, I really like the wings, but I think I'm gonna spin off this. Our goal is a legendary or a mythical. Maybe I'll settle with a rare. Human again. Three-eyed tribe. And to end it off, we ended up with Fishman. Now, there's one thing that all these games always have in common, and it's the fact that they're a bandit beater. So obviously, you know what we're about to go do. Let's just hop straight into it. I just want to take a second to say thank you for all the support on all my previous videos. I actually can't believe we are finally monetizing that we hit 1k in less than a month. Once again, boys, thank you. Let's get back into the time lapse. All right, boys, we can officially fight the bandit boss. I'm gonna go up here and fight it real quick. But let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comments below. Will you be playing it? Because if so, I will probably make a crew if we can get the right amount of people. Just let me know down in the comments. After the beating the bandit boss, it was probably time to go and move on to the next island. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the dev team could low key give a buff to all the bosses in the game now y'all are probably saying no no don't say that don't eat don't make the progression harder but i do feel like they're a little bit too easy it is supposed to be a boss but anyways i'll catch you guys when i'm at the next island all right boys as you can see we're actually pulling up to the next island now and i'm not gonna lie i think this is orange town arc i'm not sure i believe this is the buggy island um, let's go ahead and check out what we got here. Um, if you guys did not know, you could actually talk to Nami and you can set your waypoint. Um, but where's, where in the world is the mission NPC? Oh, we got a chest. We only got 300 cash, bro. I, they need to buff that as well, bro. Give me more cash from those little hidden chests. But I still can't find the NPC. Oh, he's over here. Oh, and it does look like it is Buggy's Island. We got some clowns over here. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a time lapse of me just farming these until we can fight Buggy. Now, I forgot to show you guys this earlier, but there is a reward system for playtime. I'm not gonna lie, this is a big W for Hayes. At the very end of the 24 hours, you are guaranteed, I believe, a legendary fruit. Um, 
if you guys do want to end up playing the game the game will be in the description below the discord and the roblox link hopefully you guys have some fun Now, I do not know if bro was trying to air slash buggy or me, but I'm not going to lie. I took offense with this and I was not going to let it slide. But here's some, some footage of the PvP in this game. I'm not going to lie. So far from every fight that I've had, it was a fun experience. Um, let me know what you guys think about this system. And just like that, boys, we're moving on to Buggy D Clown. Yes, bro, this guy is going to find the One Piece, I swear. But um, here's here's the boss fight with me fighting Buggy. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. All right, boys, we're finally on Buggy, and yes, she did get him low. And bro, why did this girl hit me? Okay, I, I guess we're scrapping. Not running from me, my boy. Not running from me. And just like that, we got some more bounty. Here's me actually fighting Buggy. Right after I beat Buggy and farmed him for a little bit, there was a server shutdown, but this was a good thing for your boy Zinzi. This is what happened. No way, bro. I literally just got Dragon. If you guys do not know what dragon is, it is a legendary race, bro. This is actually one of the goals that we had in, in mind for the video. Um, I guess I guess it's back to grinding and then we'll move on to the next island. Alright boys, as you can see, we're actually in Arlong Park. The plan is we're going to farm real quick, get done with the bandit beating at this, this part, this island. And then we're going to fight Arlong and take his sword. We have like a 5% drop rate chance to like actually obtain it so wish me luck boys let's get straight into it I'm being so real when I said this, bro. It took me 45 minutes to get this sword from Arlong, bro. Like, I was losing my mind, but we finally obtained it. And you'll see later on in the video how I feel about this sword. Um, let's go ahead and head over to the next island. All right, boys, we're pulling up on the last island now. And it's looking like Alabasta. Um, I really like this arc. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to find Nami real quick because we do need to set our waypoint. Oh, I think that's her over there. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, and then we just have to find the mission bounty guy and then we can start farming once again. I'll give you guys a little time lapse. Um, our bounty is 750. We're getting up there, you know. We're the second highest in the uh, in our server right here. Um, where, where is the NPC at? Oh, there he, that's definitely him. But yeah, I'm going I'm to start doing this mission and I'll catch you guys after I farm it a little bit and I'll give you guys some updates. Whatever you guys do, do not use the Zawoldo sword and do not grind for it, bro. The shark sword is terrible. It's so slow and this katana swings faster. The damage per second is higher and the moves are cooler. Just look at this anime dash, bro. Exactly. And you also get like a tiny Getsu Gotensho, which is cool. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, Ichigo's move. But overall, hopefully they fix that sword. Hopefully they give us some type of buff because 
it's embarrassing how bad it is and how like i mean you don't gotta work hard towards it but it's definitely not worth the grind um i hopefully they stay true to this game and it's not just a cash grab i'm really hoping that they stay true to the updates that they say they're gonna bring to the game i think they already have the four update four next updates confirmed which is like gear five kaido um i believe second c is also on the way i'm kind of excited but i i do have a quality of life suggestion that they could add to the game if not two quality life ex like suggestions starting off with the map they need a new map system bro they put no work into it at all they slapped a few photos on on some water and called it a map um add a pinging system to here bro show where the bosses are on the map show where your allies are show where like you are and um it would be 110 percent better bro um another thing is drop the prices of this game bro this is not blocks fruits i should not be paying 30 dollars for gear four like leo fruit is that that price but leo is like the best at farming like it's actually amazing in blocks fruits like just just please drop the prices for uh for people but this next part is gonna be me farming my boy Sherma told me to pull up to Logetown to kill this NPC that he had. Apparently, it was supposed to give me some type of book that gave me mastery on the two sword style. Um, and unfortunately, it gave me nothing. I thought I would just include this for y'all though. All right, boys, this is for you boys who want two swords style. Pretty much, you want to pull up to Logue Town. Um, we got to talk to this NPC right over here. So we're pretty much going to, you pretty much want to come in from the dock, which is right over in that direction. And then you want to go past this tree and around the corner is Mr. Dr. White. And then pretty much you want to talk to this guy. It's, he's going to look like he only removes your fruit, but right here under clothes, it actually says two swords style. And then you want to click on that. I think it costs around, let me see. 100k you just click sure and then you unlock it i'm not gonna lie the moves are pretty sick and overall it's pretty fun to play with but um we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back to alabasta and actually kill the boss and that will probably be it for this video all right boys we're back at mr six aka mr bombastic and we're finna fight him real quick um we're gonna head over here and um so we don't glitch this guy actually crashes your game bro he crashed me like eight times uh, i'm not gonna include that though but we're gonna go ahead and beat him real quick and that is it for this video i don't know why that move does not keep on doing damage it's like a one-time thing even though it should do multiple damage but we did end up beating them boys if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe it would help me out greatly and other than that boys have a great rest of your day stay safe and peace out.